today we're going to be talking about step one. If you don't know what step one is or the 12 step program, please check out my other video about the 12 step program. If you're interested in quitting marijuana for any long term period of time, then you're going to have to delve deep into yourself and figure out why you're smoking marijuana or what's going on up here and inside here, the heart. So step one is all about honesty. The actual wording of the step one, if this is confusing, I understand, but just bear with me. So step one, we admitted we were powerless over marijuana or any whatever thing is affecting you, but for now we're talking about marijuana. So we admitted we were powerless over marijuana, that our lives had become unmanageable. Step one is all about honesty and admitting powerlessness and the unmanageability of our lives. I know I was powerless over marijuana because I tried to quit and I couldn't quit. That made me powerless. But I had to admit that. I had to be honest with myself and say, hey, this thing is more powerful than me right now. If it wasn't, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be talking about this and I wouldn't be having a problem quitting. What's going on with the unmanage unmanageability? That's kind of a hard word. Unmanageab unmanageability. Is my life unmanageable? Do I spend all my time trying to buy weed? Or whenever I don't have weed, am I thinking about it? Is weed causing me to not do well at work or at school or in my relationships? Is my life just getting out of control, whatever scale, large or small? That's the unmanageability, and I need to admit that that is happening. Or else, why do I want to quit? Like, if everything's going good, what's the point of quitting? But there's got to be something going on if you're interested in quitting marijuana. I have to take an honest self-examination. It's really important to just look at myself, look at what's going on. Have people been telling me I have a problem? Are people distancing themselves from me? Am I distan distancing myself from other people? Do I think this is just a casual hobby I'm doing, or is this become a full-blown addiction or somewhere in between? Am I denying that there's a problem? That's a big one. I smoked weed for about 15 years and during that time I was the biggest smoker out of anybody I knew and yet I refused to say that I had a problem. This was something that I liked to do and I didn't care what got in the way of me and my weed. I would get to my weed. Whether it was jobs, friends, family, school, the number one priority of my life was to get high and stay high throughout the day.